Okay, here's my homemade wooden incubator. It's not done, but um, it is working. And the light is turning on and off. I have it set at um, 38, so when it gets to 38, and it's in Celsius. So when it gets to 38, which I'm pretty sure like 99.5 uh, is like 37 point six or something it's something like that I just gotta check it out but I have it at 38 right now and I'm still making it the insides are there's no insides basically it's just wiring and some light bulbs but I have heat lamps as the um, heat source it's 250 watts each I have two of them and um, I'll put this thermostat in the description the name of it and let me show you the inside um, I got a light bulb there and a light bulb there and I'm planning to put a fan down at the bottom so it raises the heat up and brings it back down okay so it'll just be flowing and that's called a what kind of incubator is that called? I can't think of the name. But, um, right up here, I opened it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, it's not going to focus on me. But it's just under 108. Or not, no. It's just under 100. It's at 98. And so when this thing was closed, it was at 108. But the problem is, is this, the probe, it's, I have a wire coming out on it, so it's about like right here on this light bulb, and it's getting all that heat, but I want it about like right here in the middle, but it's just not long enough to get down the middle, so I'm thinking if I bend it down, and bend it out a little bit or something, but it's just the problem with doing that is it's not in the middle, and... The top, where the light bulb is, is going to be a lot harder than the bottom. So what I need it to be is I need it to be like 99 right here in the middle and 99.5 or 100 up here and 100 down there. Or something like that. If you guys have any ideas of how I'm going to be able to keep it at 99.5 with this thermostat, um, just leave a comment below. And just by the way, this runs on 12 volt, so I need an AC adapter right here. And um, I'm trying to keep it all neat, unlike my other one. But it's going to go down the corner and come back here. I still got to staple some right there. But, like, you know, I'm trying to make it look nice, and then you got the plug on the outside, and I don't know. We'll see what it turns out like. Just leave a comment in the below if um, there's anything you guys think I can do to it. And I'm going to put um, shelves in here. And it's going to have um, the egg turners on them. And this is probably going to be the incubator and that's going to be the hatcher. And that's basically it with this one. But um, I'm going to show you the hatcher really fast. I'm going to close that. We'll check on the temperature once before. Um, this video is over. So, here it is. It's horrible, you know. Oh, you know. It's pretty bad. But I have this thermostat in there. I'll leave the comment in the below for what it's called. Uh, they have, like, weird names, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, all my wiring is on the outside. It's gross, and it comes around a different type of wood and it's really thin wood and it, the seal isn't good and it's just not that good. The best part on this is the handle. <laughs> we just had that laying around. But yeah, see it's not that good. You know, I don't know. I just want this the that one to turn out nicer. Um these were supposed to hatch two days ago and they never did. Because um, I threw them in a different incubator, um, that foam one, and 
I was messing with it and I guess I forgot that I had it a set at 120 so it went all the way to 120 and I guess killed all these pheasant eggs and then those two quail eggs but um, the cool thing about this one is um, the shelves they have little shelves and they come and you can pull them out I don't know I like it but it's kinda poorly made um, then that doesn't look good. I don't know, but I have that. That you know, that's a new one, and I have another one down there. I have a fan right here, and I should take that out and put it in that incubator, but I don't know. We'll see. And it's not right anymore because I've been open for a while, but it usually holds around like nine or yeah, ninety-eight around there. But, um, that's, I think it's good for a hatcher, and then I just need a big thing of water down here, and a big thing of water right here, and a, you know, water, sponge, 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 you know, until, you know, and then whatever layer the eggs are on won't have any water in them, or else the chicks will hatch and drown in it, you know, so, I don't know, I think that's gonna be my hatcher, it doesn't look good or anything, you know, the windows are crap and everything, but, that's going to be my incubator. I'm thinking to put a window on it or two or something. A little better than the other one. Have some framing on it maybe. And if you guys have any comments or what you like it to turn out like or anything, just leave it in the comments. And, oh. I said I would t show you guys the temperature. It's, it's rising. Um, well, that's rising. Here, I'll show you my phone one. This foam one, um, it's been holding at like 99, and here's the numbers right below what it is. But it's not that anymore because I was messing with the settings, so now I gotta make it all where it's perfect again. But it turns on the water heater thermostat. They're both, that's a 65 and that's a 60, which is wrong. So, I need both 60s, and the same, you need the same kind of bulb, and the same wattage, or else it won't, um, it's just, the temperatures will be different, and it's just better. So what I'm thinking is, I have some 40 watt bulbs, and I'm gonna put those in there. And, the cool thing about this is, I don't need a bowl of water or anything, I just have a thing a mesh right here and you can simply just this can always be covered up and you can just pour water over on it and you just leave a little spot about that big without eggs in it you open it up really fast pour your water in and it you know and the cool thing is is my egg turners they fit in here perfectly I could fit one one egg turner and then hatching area over here. And I know you're not supposed to do that because they need different humidity, but you know, if you have around 50 humidity, that's perfect, you know. But yeah, this is holding around 100 for that one. And then I have that one, which is bad, and I'm probably gonna just scrap it, take the egg turners out of it, use it for something else because. It says it holds at 107, but I don't know. It kind of varies, and then the humidity won't hold, and I don't know. It's just not that good, but I have a whole bunch of pheasant and quail eggs in here. There's that row of quail, and then the rest are all pheasants. Can I see in the humidity? And then my baby pheasants that I hatched. And then this is my last incubator. I know I have a lot of incubators, but you need you need incubators. I don't know. It's nice. It's nice to have a lot of incubators because then there are, you can all constantly have eggs going in. You know, and I have all these quail eggs, pheasant eggs. I'm gonna do um. A video on my quail over there and I don't know 
I think this is about the right temperature now. Almost there. There we go. Turned off. Wait for it to turn back on. You can see. Wait. Oh my gosh. There we go. And it is just over 100. And. Yeah, it's like. Oh, wait. That's way over 100. It's 100 and. It's a. Uh, hundred and eight. Huh. I think having the thermometer. I don't know. I have to have the thermo or the probe where the first layer of eggs would be. So I have to figure out where I'm gonna get my shelves. So I'll probably have a shelf right here, shelf right here, shelf right here. I want to fit about like four egg turners in here. Problem is the egg turners are so expensive. It's it's hard to get a lot of them, but. I'll do another video of me when I get the shelves in there, and then after I get the shelves in there, I'll make probably another video of the finished product, and it working just right, and some eggs in it maybe, and yeah. There we go. Thank you. Like and subscribe.